scarlet blaze, severing the past. After a furious march, Edelgard's army restores a measure of peace to the imperiled lands of Krim, only to learn of a revolt at Fort Mercius, staged by the deposed Duke Eyre. The disturbance in Hrim was but a feint to give those who slither in the dark time to capture Mercius, and eventually the capital of Enbar. But Edelgard moves to thwart them. Have you heard, Duke Eyer? Viscount Minya has hastened from afar to join your cause. Our houses, Fenya and Menya, share a distant blood ancestor. And now we stand together again to save the Empire from her plight. Hastened from afar with what? That miserable smattering of soldiers? From what I hear, Menya's heir is a rabid supporter of the Emperor. Are you certain the father is not being foisted on us just to get him out of the picture? Absolutely not. And besides, all of House Fenya is united behind you. If we appeal to the other lords jointly, I'm certain a multitude of troops will flock to Fort Mercius. I should hope so. I've no idea why they'd side with that pathetic excuse for an emperor. Only I, Ludwig von Eyer, can restore Adrestia to its former glory. About those mages, they say they want to, uh, alter the fort's defenses? Fine, fine. Let them do as they wish. So long as we're outnumbered, we must embrace creative solutions. Edelgard will strike the moment we give any indication we're after the capital. We'll lure her troops inside, then dispose of them all at once. It will be an easy victory. I always knew you were a brilliant tactician. They will never see it coming. Now, if we might discuss key posts in your future administration. I can only hope Her Majesty is weak and foolish enough to be so ensnared. It was never my intent to divide the Empire in war. That's not what I wanted. If she'd said one word, one word, indicating there might be a place for me, None of this would have been necessary. Enough. I must purge my mind of such thoughts. I must win. I must prevail over her. And if I cannot, you must be the one to cut me down, Ferdinand. Edelgard. Do you have a moment? Of course, Ferdinand, but please keep it short. It is about my father. My pleas for a fair trial cost you time and delayed his sentencing. It also gave the Knights of Saros an opening to conduct their raid, which provided him ample opportunity to stage an escape. I am to blame for all that has transpired. Let me hurry you along to the point, if I may. What are you going to do about it? Or, more likely, what do you want me to do about it? Put me in the field when we retake Fort Mercius, and permit me to rectify my own mistake. Will you allow me that? <sighs> I was wondering when you'd ask. Don't worry, I've already made the arrangements. But you mustn't do anything reckless. You will stick to the battle plan, and that is a direct order. Ah, Edelgard. You are the very picture of reason. The very epitome of wise stewardship. Enough. You can gush over me after the battle if you still feel the urge. We've no idea how things will go after all, and you may be in a very different mood. True. All the same, I am grateful. 
Thank you. You can come out, Hubert. I know you're listening. I came to give you the latest report, Your Majesty, but decided to wait until this other business reached its conclusion. Then you know what must be done. Make sure he's given protection. Oh, I will if I find the time. You do keep me quite busy, after all. You've found a way to take care of them? I can assure you, those Cretans will rue ever setting foot in Her Majesty's fortress. They wanted thick walls, and we will give them the thickest ones a coffin can provide. This is our chance to decimate the forces of those who slither in the dark. So hear me out. What do you think of this? I will handle it. Shall we? Why are you always doing that? A question, if I may. Have you had any further contact with our slithering friends since that day? Not in the slightest. Why? Do you know something? Yes, actually. What with the riots in Rim territory and the former Duke Ayer's attempted rebellion, Thanks to that, we now have a lead on the insurgents within the Empire, as well as those who slither in the dark. Speaking to the latter, I also tried to determine if they had been attempting to reach you, or otherwise thought you an ally. But at present, it seems neither is the case. Regrettably. Present? Still don't trust me, do you? In our conversations, the future of the Empire, promoting commoners... I would have hoped you'd ease up at least a little after all that. Believe me, it brings me no joy and, in fact, some guilt to doubt you, sir. But I must be prepared for any eventuality. When needs must, I have made even my greatest enemy feel as though they are a trusted friend. Yet, at times, I have also shown extreme suspicion towards those who were, in all manners, undeserving of it. Yeah, I get it. Keep your cards close to the chest. Never let them know what you're actually thinking. You really are something, you know that? I'm just glad we're on the same side. I must admit, I only tell you all this because I do, in fact, consider you deserving of my trust. Even if you were once connected to those who slithered in the dark, that is clearly behind you now. So believe me when I say, I have the utmost confidence in you. I'm not sure how much you really mean that, but I'm glad to hear you say it, at least. Thanks, Hubert. How very diplomatic. Just the response I would have expected from you. Enough on that, though. Our problem now is what lurks beneath your mind's veneer. 
What do you mean? I can sense another you, bubbling away behind the one you present to the world. Call it intuition. What really worries me is that you may one day shed this husk you bear now and become that someone else entirely. Uh, uh, another me, huh? Well, I appreciate the concern, but even if that someone does exist, I won't let them overtake me. I mean, come on. I'd shove that other me right back where they came from and earn your trust once and for all. Though, just so we're clear, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Very well. I suppose I will have to take your word. For now. In any case, I hope that as we inscribe Fodlin's new future, we do so with you by our side. Excuse me. Well. Must you work so hard? Come to think of it. This is lovely. Tough fight, eh, Lawrence? I'm just glad we both made it back safe. Indeed. Without your help, I surely would have met a noble warrior's demise. Thankfully, my admirers will have no reason to weep today. And for that, you have my gratitude. Well, that took a weird turn. Do you remember what I said before about the order of things in Fodlan? Yeah, wasn't it something like, you nobles are here to protect us commoners, so we all should just be good little kids and go take a nap or something? Well, I don't recall saying anything about naps, but yes, we nobles have an obligation to protect the common folk. However, were a commoner to take a lethal strike in a noble's stead, then we have failed in our duty. I was dangerously close to suffering that fate myself. Okay, sure, but you would have died if I hadn't saved you. And in doing so, you put yourself in a most precarious position. Your life could have been forfeit. Risking my neck to save others is just what I do. 
Yes, well, you were lucky to keep it unsevered this time. Mark my words, there is no reason a commoner should ever put their life on the line for a noble. I couldn't bear the thought of someone of your status sacrificing their life for the sake of my own. So do not do that again. Are we clear? Wow, that's how you repay the person who saved your life? I expected better from you, Lawrence. No, that's not it. Truly, you have my sincere thanks. I simply want you to understand my position. All right, all right. I take it back. No need to get all riled up. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Me? How rude! I will have you know I'm quite serious about this matter. Well, I hate to break it to you, but we can end up in that situation a hundred times, and I'll save you every single one. Astonishing. You fail to understand me after all this. Nah, I get what you're going for, but I've got my own way of doing things. Mercenary or no, I know there's nothing worse than watching an ally die right in front of me. Especially if they're weaker than me. I just can't help but jump in to save them, you know? Weaker? You cannot possibly mean me! Hey, you're the one who almost kicked the bucket out there. If you don't want people rushing in to save you, then you've just got to get stronger. I must admit, your argument is sound. I cannot refute it. In that case, I ask you keep your eyes on me from this day forth. I shall endeavor to improve myself. The day my strength surpasses yours, my noble personage will save your commoner skin and restore the proper order to this world. Yes, this shall solve all of Fodland's problems. <laughs> This is why nobody believes me when I say he's actually a decent guy. Up for a little duet? You know, I was thinking... what you're thinking. You're busy? Good news. We've dislodged another foothold those who slither in the dark held in Empire territory. Good news? That's great! So, that soldier was one of theirs after all, huh? He was. It's uncanny how you managed to identify their agents so precisely. Ordinary spies would be one thing, but these villains are another entirely. 
I'd like to say it's just intuition, but there's more to it than that. It's my power. Their magic is almost identical to the one I use, so it's not hard for me to pick up on. I guess we have Hubert to thank for connecting the dots between the two. How strange that you would hold such an important key. The more I look back, the more I realize... Without you among our ranks, I may never have broken the stranglehold those who slither in the dark exerted on the Empire. Me? What did I do? Our hidden foe was deeply entrenched in almost every facet of Adrestian society. The two were almost inseparable. And so I turned a blind eye to the lives that were being lost to their cruel designs. Opting instead to focus my energy on preparing for war. But then you came along and helped show me a way to kill two snakes with one stone, as it were. You were the cog that was missing from the turnwheel, the one final push that urged me to act. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever that means. You can be so confusing sometimes, you know that? Forgive me. <laughs> you may be the only person I know who would look an emperor in the eye and speak their mind so freely. I don't know. I could totally see Ferdinand doing it too. Yes, I can see your point. It was my mistake. In any case, I'd like you to know just how pleased I am to have you fighting alongside us. You were a perfect stranger who owed nothing to the Empire. Yet you're still here. That means much. Eh, uh, it wasn't that big a deal. I just needed some gold, and figured if anyone was gonna have the coin to spare, it'd be the Empire. <sighs> you know, some things are best left unsaid. Oh, and you were really quick to compliment me back at the Academy. That left an impression for sure. I mean, most nobles don't give us mercs the time of day. You were different. It's nice to hear you say that. And hey, I was right about you. I wouldn't be shining half as bright as I am today if I didn't hitch my wagon to yours. Trust me, no regrets here. Anyway, back to it. Victory is so close I can almost smell it. And I'll be right here by your side the rest of the way. No stopping till we've united all of Fodland. We will reach the end of this path soon. All of us. Together. carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 Hope to see you again soon. What did you need? Hmm. 
Thanks. I appreciate it. <sighs> Greetings, friend. So what do you think? I know. Right on. Hmm. Wait, for me? be telling you. Is going on and on. Do you think we will ever have sight of the end? Yeah, I do. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but it's definitely out there on the horizon. It will be good to be putting this war behind us. When the war is finished, what are you wishing to do? That's a pretty big question. Then I will give more clarity. How will you be supporting yourself when your contract is completed? If you have the desire, you could come to Bridget with me. Wait, seriously? I thought you were just pulling my leg about that. I would never be pulling your legs. Also, I am speaking with seriousness. After losing the war with the Empire, Bridget was forced into becoming a vassal state. But this war is giving Bridget the chance to stand on equal feet again. We will be opening our borders to Fodlin. The exchanges between us will flourish. I am needing a person I can trust to give me help with this. Huh. Please, accept my apologies if the offer was given with too much suddenness. No, it's not that. I was just taking a moment to admire you. This war has been particularly ugly, and it seems like we're tearing each other apart on a daily basis. But people like you and Edelgard are already thinking about what comes next, how to plan for it. You're every bit the ruler they are. No, I am different. I am the Queen of Bridget. We are the proud isles, placed upon the sea by the spirits, who are watching over us to this day. Our future has the brightness of the sun. I am hoping you will be at my side as we are shaping it. How 
powerful words. And I'm happy you put that much stock in me. Honestly, it's a good fit. I've got nothing tying me down. No family, no titles, no property to speak of. I am not asking for your answer in this moment. I know your sword is sold right now. But when this war is over, I hope the making of a decision is at the top of your to-be-doing list. That is why I am approaching you so early. Because I am very, very sneaky. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll keep that in mind. And I don't blame you for trying to sneak ahead of the competition. Honestly, I'm kind of flattered. So, how about this? Let's both make it through this war unscathed and decide what comes next together. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hey there. Need something? Is this it? See you around. Is everything okay? Hmm. I be of service. My instruction comes at a high price. Don't neglect your daily studies. That's not good. Okay, so... Huh? And that's that.
before Her Majesty. You don't expect me to go out there and fight, do you? Let's get this over with. I'm going to doze off. I just know it. Let's earn our keep. I'm going to win, and I'm going to smile while doing it. I'll do what I can. Yeah. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Prepare to be amazed. Go! I'm getting strong. Not a problem. I've got this. Sure. This stronghold will fall. You like that? I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Tell me somebody saw that. Time to get going. What's next? Ah! 
be strong. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope that. What a pain. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Impressive, aren't I? Prepare to be amazed. Go. All would be lost if I were to die here. Middling results. Perhaps even adequate. We won't lose, no matter what. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Oh, if I must. After this, a token effort. What's next? I wish I could just flee and avoid all of this fighting. You're working so hard, Linhart. It makes me want to do the same. Just let me rest. Oh, if I must, leave this to me. The spotlight is mine. Though I am reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. One day the war will be over. The purpose of all Take a this. breather. Enter Manuel. It's nap time. Always be prepared. Attack! <laughs> the spotlight is mine. <laughs> Luck was on our side today. Battle does have you can rope. I think I'm getting the hang. This is quite fascinating.
Our scouts have returned from Fort Mercius. There's less movement than we anticipated. That likely means the former Duke Iyer wants us to attack the fortress to make up for his disadvantage in troop strength. The numbers don't lie. One needs three times the forces of their enemy to claim a castle in a siege. Although, that's if you attempt to take it head on. So, do we have a plan or what? I mean, Fort Mercius is basically impenetrable. <laughs> Actually, this one time we came home well after curfew and had to try and sneak back in. Turns out there was no way in. The guards mistook us for bandits and father shouted at us until he lost his voice. <sighs> good times. The good news is that we have learned of a passage into the fort which has been kept secret since its construction. The bad news is that I are likely also learned of the passage when he was Prime Minister. Unless his reason has completely taken flight, the man will take some sort of measures to defend it. The fortress is huge in size. We should organize small teams and be attacking from many points. If we achieve success, we can open the gates from the inside and be giving the enemy a surprise. It only serves other regions if the Empire starts shedding Empire blood. We should find a resolution that minimizes casualties on both sides. Um, is this the part where I chime in? Because, um, if you want to coax someone out of hiding, breaking down the door is the wrong way to go about it. That'll only push them further into their shells, so... I think we should try talking to them instead. Is it just me, or is our corner of the world an uncontrolled mess? Why don't we just put all of your plans into action? We've got the numbers to do it. We can sneak soldiers in, use the secret passage, talk it out, and apply brute force all at the same time. As long as one of those approaches works, we'll win. That's actually not a bad plan, and it didn't even come from me. Amazing! I mean, the brute force part is a little risky, but I dare say, you're learning. Hmm. An intriguing idea. But what about the hostages? If we force our way in, they're likely to be killed. I will not permit that to happen. And while my father may be a fallen noble, he is still a noble, and not the sort of man to start butchering innocent people when the tides turn. I pray you are right, Ferdinand. Though I believe you never know what a person is capable of until they act. We will proceed with this plan at once, adapting as the situations dictate. We cannot fail. Not here. Not now. Understood. Sure thing. Let's move.
fight starts now. Stay safe. Not a problem. I've got this. Starting the mission. Is that an order? I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Let's get this operation underway. Starting the mission now. Starting the mission. Is that an order? A life is the only thing we can't replace. I'll do whatever it takes. If I were to die here, that should suffice. Sorry, but I gotta fall back. What's Stand next? Back. Is that an order? Not a problem. I've got this. It's done. This stronghold will fall. This will come in handy. I'll make the retreat. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Let's get this operation underway. Starting the mission now. Starting the mission is all right. Very what's next? next? Attack. Follow me. We'll bring it down in no time. What next? What's next? Not a problem. I've got this. Not a problem. I've got. Let's get started. Not a problem. I've got this. Starting is if this keeps up. This. Easy now. We're not losing to anyone. Looks like you got one tough fight on your hands. Retreat. 
easy enough. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. That turned out well. Yeah, right! I'm gonna face my comrades after this. It's no use. We can't gain any ground. Not a problem. I've got this. Let's get this operation underway, shall we? Starting the mission now. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Let's get this operation underway, shall we? Starting the mission now. Starting them, is that an order? I'm dragging Take the others down. It is certainly worth an attempt. Starting the mission is... Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. Stand back. Witness. Unnecessary. Gotta get it together. Coward. Your life is forfeited. All would be lost if I were to die here. Starting, is that an order? I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Let's get starting the mission now. Not a problem. I've got this. Ready for me? All too easy. I'm all right. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Don't let it go to your head. Easy enough. Starting the mission. Is that us? What next? Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. All right, what's next? Let's get this operation underway, shall we? Starting the mission now. Let's get this operation underway. Starting the mission now. Not a problem. Move out. We're done for. The rest is up. 
starting. Is that an order? Let's get this operation up. Starting the mission now. Not a problem. I've got this. Not a problem. I've got this. To you! Take a breather. Well, that I'll take should point. suffice. We'll bring it down in no time. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. What's next? Starting the mission. Is that an order? I've got it. Let's get... My turn? My turn? Commencing attack. Follow me. That turned out well. Let's get this operation underway, shall we? Starting the mission now. Take a breather. Retreat! We did it! Enemy down. Nice. I know you can do better than that. I'll take point. This place won't be a problem anymore. Luck was on our side today. Child's play. I have a strategy. I will endeavor my hardest. Before Her Majesty. I don't care much for battle. You don't expect me to go out there and fight, do you? For the future that's yet to come. There's no stopping me.
another step toward victory. Witness our virtue firsthand. Imperial forces attack. I never let an audience down. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. I will glad orders received. It's Bernie's time. Sure hope this goes. Go. They must learn to I have this. <laughs> Never <laughs> end like this. Of course I succeeded. They must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes home. Uh, yeah. No! Yeah. No! Now! Are you sure? Watch this! Sorry. 
gotta fall back. Here I go. No mistakes. They must. I have this. How does that please you? No distractions. The spotlight is mine. Yeah. Success follows wherever I go. I'm used to it. The future is ours to me. What a fact. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. How can I serve? Exactly what I hoped for. accept. I appreciate this. Yeah. 
I am grateful. Ah. Uh. Can it be? A moment of your time. Got a sec. Time to work you into shape. that makes me strong I work to grow but I haven't been wasted I'll surely put this to good use no surprises here to work you into shape.
My love comes in many... me strong a new power is now being i've got the hang of it oh look at that time to work you into shape way to get more power. Get any stronger. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. That's quite the noise that just came flying out of your diaphragm. Linhart, perhaps you can be helping me. This letter is giving me much difficulty. A letter, is it? I was under the impression that you had no trouble reading the language of Fodlin. I also had that thought, but this page is not making sense. Can you be reading it for me? What? Oh, no, I couldn't. This is a private matter. I mean, I don't even know who it's from. But I cannot be writing back if I do not know what they are saying. Please, do this favor for me. Oh, very well. Let me have a look. Goodness, no wonder you struggled with this. It couldn't be more archaic. Right, well, let me give this a shot. <clears throat> Yon world is endless sand, and I but a parched grain air upon its bosom. Oh, beauty, was it the western wind which brought thee hither merciful rain? Soft, my river o'erfloweth. Hmm, Petra, is this a love letter? That is a possibility, but I do not have certainty. 
Okay, you definitely should have mentioned that before I started reading this. Well, too late now, I suppose. Indeed. I am blaming the letter. If no one can have understanding of it, the writer is a waster of paper. Well, it's not that I don't understand so much as... Look, let me just give this back to you. You have understanding? You must be teaching me. Oh, very well. The writer is using archaic speech to express his love for you through metaphor. So much so that I would say they have gone and spoiled the whole thing. So he has passion? I am pleased, although I have little knowledge of the letter's writer. Really? From what he's written here, it sounds as if he sees you every day. Also, the letter is absolutely rife with mistakes. Take this passage, for example. I think he mentioned the western wind in an effort to evoke Brigid, but it's actually the southern wind that brings rain. Besides which, the merciful rain is a gift from the goddess. This paramour of yours shouldn't be tossing such sacrilegious comparisons about. And I won't even ask how a grain can be parched, let alone turn into an overflowing river. The words have richness and color. I wish I could be reading them as well as you. Trust me, it's nothing special. Well-crafted writing has layers. This just has apostrophes. So, are you planning to write him back? This has been a most painful lesson of how little I am knowing. I must be reading many books to study the old speech of Fodlin before making my reply. I sure hope she doesn't plan on writing him back in the same style, or they're going to end up talking right past each other. Speak with you, Ignatz. Ah, oh, Lysithia! You gave me quite the scare there. Do you remember last time we spoke about our parents? When you told me how you wanted to do something for them. Yes, I remember. Does that mean there's something I can help with? No. However, the way you acted when we spoke has been weighing on me. I got the impression you are somehow pushing yourself too far. No, I'm not. What, what would make you think that? There it is again. Something is going on with you, and I think I know just what it is. <clears throat> you wanted to take over the family business along with your brother, didn't you? Huh? I mean, uh, no. I, I never wanted to do that. I'm, uh, not really suited for the life of a merchant. Really? And yet you know so much about paintings, silverware, tea, and other kinds of merchandise. Well, it seems I have miscalculated. I thought you became a knight solely due to your family's wishes. You're not wrong about that. I mean, wait! That's not what I meant! Aha! So there is something you'd rather be doing! Well, um... Yes. Set your worries aside, Ignatz. I have a proposal. You... do? Yes! You should come to Ardelia territory and get started on what you truly want to do. I can arrange for you to come and go as you please, and we may even be able to provide you with other forms of assistance as necessary. Really? Well, I'm certainly happy to hear that, but... But can it wait until the war is over? I still have a job to finish as a knight. I'd feel bad for Lawrence if I just threw all of that away. I mean, he's the one who nominated me after all. You always take your responsibilities so seriously. Do you never put yourself first?
still. I suppose that is a rather admirable trait. Very well, then. I will wait until the war is over. Until then, hold on to your dreams, okay? I will, Lysithia. And thank you. I feel like a new light is starting to shine on my life. I don't know what will happen to Ordelia territory when the war ends. Still, if I end up a commoner, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to help him start his new merchant business. That is what he wanted to do, right? Brains all jumbled up. Let's see. Right, right. all jumbled up. Hey, how's it going? You been getting enough food? Definitely. I'm eating way better than I was back in my mercenary days. You didn't eat so good, huh? I spent most of my time moving from place to place, so I had to manage on my own. I'd just fling whatever I could get my hands on into a pot. Can't say any of it ever tasted too great. Wow, I'm surprised you could even live like that. And you never stayed in an inn? Sometimes, if one happened to be nearby and I had a little extra money lining my pockets. But I never really felt like the food there was any better. Sounds like you were at all the wrong places then. Nothing fun about a bad meal, I always say. That's why I want my inn to be known far and wide for its delicious food. 
I was actually hoping to do some cooking out here, too, so I could hone my craft. But I don't think it's going so good. You want to know why? Hmm. If I had to guess, it's because you think everything tastes good no matter what. Hey, now. I know the difference between regular old grub and the kind of stuff that gets your mouth watering. See, all the meat and fish we've got in the pantry is preserved. When you're not working with the fresh stuff, nothing you make's gonna have people hollering for more. You think? But there are dishes from all over the world that use ingredients that are on the verge of going bad. You sure that isn't because they don't have a choice? I'm no expert, but I've heard it can make a nice cut of meat even more savory, depending on how you prep it. Huh. Maybe we can learn some more if we ask someone who's from one of those places. Not to mention, there are other ways of preserving food, too. You mean, besides dumping salt on everything? I'm sure you know about smoking your food, right? Things will keep for even longer if you do that after you cure them. Yeah, but I heard that makes meat all smoky and gross. Kinda defeats the point, if you ask me. Well, I think it depends on how you do it, and what kind of wood you use. Apparently, it's really good if you do it right. Wow, you sure know a lot about this stuff. My mercenary days showed me more about the world than I could have ever imagined. I only really remember bits and pieces, though. Come on, don't be so modest. I can't wait to get back in the kitchen with these new ideas you gave me. Hey, speaking of ideas, you want to help me think up some recipes with the stuff we've got here? Well, I'm not so sure me and cooking mix, but yeah, I wouldn't mind giving it a shot. That's the spirit. I know we'll come up with some feast-worthy food if we just put our heads together. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. Marianne, you shouldn't just eat in silence. Try making some small talk. I'm sorry. I don't... Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy.
the flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Ah, a high-quality meal suitable for my refined palate. I am most grateful. Eating outside like this makes the food taste even better. Come back whenever you're hungry. Our virtue first, to first, let hand. us unite our strength. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. It's Bernie's time to shine. All right, let's keep moving. I will gladly handle this strength for a successful defense. Maybe we should just run away. It's Bernie's time to shine! You need some backup? No, we have to do something. They must look. I have this. The spotlight is mine. I'm bringing it down. Well. <laughs> All would be lost if I were to die here. Now, where to next? It's no use. We can't gain any ground. I will gladly hand orders received. The wounds are severe. I have to fall back. Oh, 
I'm sorry. It's Bernie's time. You need some backup? Watch this. I'm sorry. Prepare to be amazed. Go we weren't strong enough. Here I go. No, they must learn. I'm ready. Of course I succeeded. How does that please you? Perfect execution, wouldn't you say? I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Enter Manuela. handle this. Orders received. Feel sorry for them. <gasps> Still here. 
Somebody please just don't attack this place again. Well, would you look at that? To think I still have hidden talent.